We're here at Ohio Stadium following the Buckeyes week two game against the Toledo Rockets. Matt, the Buckeyes got the result they were seeking, but it wasn't pretty. No, it wasn't. The Buckeyes win 27-22, but it wasn't pretty. And after facing a lot of adversity off the field over the past year, today, Coach Fickle talking about how his squad handled adversity on the field. We knew it was going to be a challenge, um, and uh, you know, we're excited about how the guys fought, how they battled, how they kept their chins up. Um, this team has been through some adversity and will continue to be through adversity, but I think that's how you challenge yourself to get better. On Tuesday, Coach Fickle saying that both Joe Bosman and Braxton Miller would see game time today, but number five never made it onto the field. That's right, it was the Joe Bosman show at the shoot today. Joe didn't have a big statistical day, but he also didn't turn the ball over. Yeah, that's one thing I want to do. I want to get back and look at the film, and uh, there are a lot of throwaways down there that, you know, maybe I could have squeezed them in, but, you know, most important thing is my turnovers. And Joe made good decisions. I don't think we had a turnover, or he didn't have a turnover. Um, so, you know, there's some times when, when it doesn't, uh, it's not real pleasing to the, to the fans or to the crowd when they throw it six rows deep. Um, but you know what, sometimes that's the best thing. Bazerman losing one of his top targets in the first half when Philly Brown went down with an apparent ankle injury. He did return to the sidelines, but he was on crutches. Uh, right now, his status is uncertain. John Simon also carted off the field in the second half. He did, however, return in time to make two key plays on Ohio State's last defensive stand to close out the win. John kind of happened to last week, too. Uh, John's not an out-of-shape guy by any means, but just emotionally, sometimes things happen. He starts to cramp up a little bit. So uh, we got to do a better job. He's got to do a better job making sure we get that under control because uh, we need him out there. So the Buckeyes off to a 2-0 start. They finish up the MAC portion of their schedule. Now they'll get their first road test as they take on the Hurricanes. That's right. Follow The Lantern on Twitter, Facebook, and TheLantern.com for your continuing Ohio State football coverage. He's Pat Brennan, and I'm Matt Edwards. We'll see you next week from Miami.